The Miocene epoch goes from 23 million to 5.3 million years ago. It is a period of great variety in the primate lineage. A study was published in 2019 by Peter Andrews, London Natural History Museum. Last common ancestor of apes and humans, morphology and environment. Paper, at present time, 36 species of Miocene apes are known during the period leading up to the origin of the human lineage. In 1948, Mary Leakey discovered a perfectly preserved skull of a 21 million year old Proconsul Africanus on Rasinga Island in Kenya. It was a spectacular find which gained her worldwide acclaim. Proconsul was named after a famous chimpanzee circus act at Le Folies Vergeur en Paris. Pro Council, later classified as Kenya Pithecus, established that the ape lineage went as far back as 21 million years ago. They had diverged from the monkeys. The apes lacked a tail and had limited bipedality. As we shall soon see, great apes were beginning to emerge in Eurasia as well. The Late Miocene. Sahelanthropus chidensis, 6.2 to 7 million years ago, was discovered in 1994 in northern Chad by a French team led by Michel Brunet. Some paleoanthropologists believe Tumai to be on the human line, while others are adamant that it is directly ancestral to the chimpanzees. The controversial femur bone of Sahelanthropus chidensis raises questions about its bipedalism. Some anatomists argue that the evidence is insufficient. Another controversial late Miocene ape man is Arroyan tugenensis, which lived six million years ago. Humanorigins.edu. In 1999, the husband and wife team Martin Pickford and Bridget Sinu discovered Arroyan tugenensis in northern Kenya. Continuing, this early human species lived around 6 million years ago and is one of the oldest on our family tree. Its fossils show evidence of bipedalism suggesting it could walk upright. In a 2004 article, the earliest hominids, science.org, University of Toronto primatologist David Bagoon pointed out that Orion has mandibular and molar morphology similar to that of the later Australopithecines. Madeleine Bohm is a professor of paleontology at the University of Tübingen, Germany. She is widely recognized as the world's foremost expert on late Miocene apes. In her view, Sahel is not on the human family line. Rather, Professor Baum advocates for Orion Tuchinensis from SciTech Daily, October 2021. Orion Tuchinensis originated in Kenya and lived 6.1 to 5.8 million years ago, and it is the oldest pre-human in Africa, Baum says. Smithsonian, approximately 6 million years ago, a significant climactic shift occurred. The expansion of the Sahara Desert effectively isolated East Africa from Southwest Europe. Professor Bohm, SciTech Daily, quote, the sealing off of the continents by the Sahara six million years ago could have enabled a separate development of the African pre-human Arroyan Tuchinensis in parallel with a European pre-human, end quote. On the phylogenetic chart, Miocene apes are divided into two taxa, Eurasian and African. Some of the better known Miocene ape species in Africa 
6 million years ago to 25 million years ago include Afropithecus, Kenyapithecus, and Dendropithecus. There is also the Ramapithecus line in Asia, 14 million to 8 million years ago. Facial bones were found on the Indian subcontinent. A branch of Ramapithecus, Sivapithecus, is believed to be ancestral to modern orangutans. The Ancient Apes of Europe Israeli archaeologist Ruth Schuster, Haaretz, 2023. In recent years, fossils from ancient hominines have been found in Bulgaria, Turkey, and Greece that predate the earliest known African hominid, Sahelanthropus chidensis. Some of the better known subclades of European apes include Dryopithecus, Pierolopithecus, Danuvius, and Grecopithecus. A lower jaw of Grecopithecus was discovered in Athens in 1944 by a German archaeology team. A tooth matching the jawbone was later discovered in Bulgaria. Both are dated to 7.1 million years ago. Deutsche Welt Europe, Cradle of Humanity, July 2020. More and more finds support the theory that the common ancestor of humans and chimps goes back to Europe. Continuing, Professor Madeleine Bohm believes that a fossil unearthed in Athens in 1944 could be the lower jawbone of Grecopithecus and says it clearly shows human characteristics. Archaeology editor Bruce Bauer, Science News 2017. Grecopithecus appears to have been a new kind of ape-like species, one that split from the ancestors of chimps and gorillas. Gorillas. Continuing, if it was a hominid, this might suggest the first hominids arose in Europe, not in Africa, as researchers have long believed. Another important Miocene ape in the European lineage is Danuvius, 11 million years ago. Danuvius fossils were discovered in 1979 in Bavaria by an amateur archaeologist. Scientists hypothesize that the European ape Danuvius may have been the very first primate to exhibit upright walking on tree branches. They refer to this behavior as extended limb clamoring. Paper 2019, a new Miocene ape and locomotion in the ancestor of great apes and humans. Danuvius combines the adaptions of bipeds and suspensory apes and provides a model for the common ancestor of great apes and humans. Professor Bagoon, SciTech Daily. It is thus becoming clear that Eurasia is more likely than Africa to have been the birthplace of the family that encompasses great apes and humans, the hominids. The very latest Miocene ape finds. In 2023, the world learned of a 6 million year old ape discovered in Anatolia, Anadoluvius. Paper, a new ape from Turkey and the radiation of late Miocene hominines. The traditional view ever since Darwin holds that hominines originated in Africa where the earliest hominids are found and where all extant non-human hominines live. Continuing, more recently, a European origin has been proposed based on the phylogenetic analysis of late Miocene apes from Europe. The fossils described here attest to a lengthy history of hominines in Europe. Baronius. And now, a new European species has just been announced, Baronius Manfredschmidi. It was discovered in 2011 in the same quarry where Danuvius was found. Newsweek, June 2024. Baronius originated in the Hammerschmiede fossil site in Bavaria, a state in southeastern Germany. These remains consist of two 
partial teeth and one patella or kneecap. Press release June 2024. Baronius lived alongside Danubius, the tree living bipedal great ape that lived almost 12 million years ago and was the earliest evidence of apes walking upright on two legs. The paper outlines morphological features of Buron, including a generally smaller body size than Danubius. Also, they note Buron had a varied diet of fruits and seeds. The discovery of both Anadoluvius and now Buronius adds to the growing list of primates from the Miocene on the European continent. Quote, Baronius highlights how much we don't know about the evolution of the great ape and human family and of other primates during the Miocene in Europe. End quote. Sergio Almasia, American Natural History Museum, Science News, July 2024. Pleistocene hominids in Europe, 5.5 million years ago to 20,000 years ago. There is fascinating evidence that has recently come out of early hominids in Europe from the island of Crete in Greece. The Trachillo's footprints in Greece were first dated to 5.7 million years ago. From their paper 2017, morphometric analysis shows the footprints to have outlines that are distinct from modern non-hominid primates and resemble those of hominids. However, a later paper published in 2021 based on beach sediments gives an even later possible date. Trachillo's footprints with a rather large range between 8.5 and 3.5 million years ago. A date of 3.5 million years ago would be the first hard evidence of a middle Pleistocene hominid on the European continent. The oldest dates for Eurasian Erectus at the Demonisi site are at 1.8 million years ago. In 2017, the Epitome 1 skull of a Homo sapien was redated putting Homo sapiens in Greece to 230,000 years ago. A new timeline for the emergence of European hominids is starting to come into focus. The earliest primates appeared in Europe around 14 million years ago. The newly discovered ape species provide evidence that primates existed in Europe until possibly the Middle Pleistocene around 4.5 million years ago. This raises the distinct possibility of entirely separate origins of Europeans from the Africans. From the Miocene apes of Europe to Middle Pleistocene European hominids to European early modern humans to upper Pleistocene hunter-gatherers, farmers, and Yubnaya horsemen. Unique and exceptional origins for Europeans.
Thank you for watching. Please remember to like, subscribe, and please pass this video on to others. We'll see you next time.